The Ed, welcome back to the sports contraption. How say you, sir? Hello? The Ed. Yeah. Hey, what's happening? It's Dave. Oh, uh, ain't nothing going on. I'm not, you know, I told you I wasn't going to call, but I'd, I'd give Popeye my number, and mm -hmm. uh, he called me, and I said, well, I'll give him another chance to act right. Oh. All right, I'm, I didn't understand that, but okay. So anyway, the Ed, here's the thing: it's been um, people have been calling into the show and saying this. And when you called in on Friday night, you did uh, some impressions for us. You did Cosell, which was great. You did Archie Bunker, and so in just a little bit here, in just a minute, we're going to play a brand new game where you're going to do your impressions and caller. If the caller can identify who you're doing, they'll win a prize. That's nice of us, right? Yeah, I got to tell you something too. Uh oh. You know the lady who moved next door to me and she got locked up? Yeah, well, I forget. What what would they put her away for? They said she had drugs in her apartment. Uh-oh. Now listen to this. This is the best part ever. You got a microwave? Do I have one? Yeah. Now I, I got one, too. Oh, really? So the place is vacated. You just walked through the police tape and took her microwave? No, no, they give it away. I got that, and I also, I ain't never had one before. I got a computer. What do you mean they gave it away? Who gave it to you? Some maintenance man said, hey, this stuff, she gone. They gave everything. I didn't, she had like a couch and a bed and all this stuff. I didn't want that. I got that stuff. But I didn't have no microwave. Now my lunches only take a few minutes to make now. Well, but that, isn't that uh, isn't that basically stealing to take uh, take that out of her house there? No, the maintenance man give it to us. Hmm. All right, I'm not so, sure if that's legal what you did there. Be careful with yourself, Dad. But remember, you're still trying to get that baby, aren't you? I don't think uh, child services is going to smile on you stealing stuff. Well, if I got, I didn't steal nothing. They give it to me, and mm -hmm. you got to have a computer in this day and age. They said so. Now I got one. Do you know how to I use the internet? No, I'm working on it. All right, good, good. I'd like that because, you know, I would like to get a picture of you, the ad, so I, we could put it on. A lot of people want to know what you look like. And uh, it was funny, as a matter five of fact. Foot, I'm about five foot seven or eight or uh -huh. nine, and I weigh about, about 185. I used to weigh 140 pounds, but now I weigh about 185. Right, 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 yeah. yeah well, anyway, you've captured the imagination of many people who call into the show. People, in fact... It's funny, you did your impressions on Friday night of Cosell and Archie Bunker, and I forget who else, and then people called our show and started doing impressions of you, if you can believe that. Yeah, I heard them. Oh, you and did hear them. Popeye, yeah, let's hear just a little bit more here. Let's hear, let's hear one more time. Who? Popeye, let's hear a little, little of uh, the ad here. There are people doing the ad. <laughs> the whiner. Uh, D Darren, you know, he, he answers the like phone, and, and that, that's the intern, Darren. That's a nice girl he is. See, that was an impression. I, I didn't think that was that good, but it's flattering that people want to do impressions of you, isn't it, D.A.? How, how come I couldn't hear it? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess you don't want was me a... to know what they did? No, well, they just said that you're a whiner because that you always put yeah, down the that. Steelers when I you heard, call in. I heard that one boy say it. He, he tried to act like... He was doing a cry or something. I said, no, nah, I ain't no cry, baby. Mm -hmm. Well, you do badmouth the Steelers a lot. I don't do nothing of the sort. All right. Well, listen, you know, the, we got to take a break, but then we'll come back and we'll let you. You're the master impressionist. We'll let you take over. Call now, 412-333-9370. The Ed's going to do impressions from what? The world of sports, I'm guessing. And if you guess uh, who he's doing, then you'll win the prize. You'll win the uh, DVD win, of Apocalypto. Uh, and I'm winning tonight. No, you're going to do the voice. You're not going to win anything. You're going to do it, and if they guess correctly, they'll win the prize. If they don't get it, I'm winning. Perfect. All right, that, that'll that be our deal then, the Ed. All right, so call now if you want to see, if you want to play the impressions of the Ed, and uh, we'll see if you can guess it, and if you do, you'll win that DVD. 412-333-9370, the sports contraption on 93.7 The Zone. Well, it's halftime at Monday Night Football here on ABC. And I'm here with the Don Meredith and the O.J. <laughs> Simpson. And the score at the halftime is the Oakland Raiders, 42, the Pittsburgh Steelers, 3. 
Meathead. All right, there he is. That's the Ed, and uh, the phone number is 412-333-9370 on the sports contraption. And we're going to start our brand-new uh, game that stars the Ed and his uh, his uh, keen impressions that you just heard there. It's the impressions of the Ed. Ba, 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 ba. All right, the Ed, you're still on the line there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm on the telephone. Right, I figured as much. Yeah, you're, so you're still on the telephone. And uh, Popeye, do we have anyone on the line ready to play this game? We're playing for the DVD of uh, Apocalypto, the Mel Gibson picture. Uh, we have caller Scott on the line, uh, as well as uh, caller Mike. Uh, e- either one of those two gentlemen would probably be uh, wonderful players for the game. Okay, Scott, you're back on the sports contraption. How say you, sir? How are you? Good. I can't complain. What's going down with you tonight, Scott? You have uh, uh, first of all, you have a sitcom for us, the best sitcom of all time. Yeah, I'm actually struggling with two uh, of my favorites: uh, Sanford and Son, and All in the Family. Oh, wow. Well, first of all, I'd, I'd be interested to hear uh, the Ed's opinion because people have actually called into the show before and said the Ed reminds them of uh, of Fred Sanford. The Ed, is that uh, flattering to you that people say that? 